then we'll go about there. Oh, come on, get sucked in there. Get sucked in there. Give me a hole in one. Oh, look at that. Okay. One down, one to go. Got him! Yes! <laughs> On the edge of defeat, just yank victory right out of there. Okay. That's it. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I, I'm, yeah, that's gonna, <laughs> that guy's gonna kill me. Everybody else see that floating body there? <laughs> Something's definitely wrong. I hope she's not planning to do anything weird since they lost. I should make, go, uh, bad, 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 blood, 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 blood. I should go make sure she's okay. Oh, when she, when she, when she, Glock and spiel. <laughs> It's just, it's, I'm, uh, <laughs> oh. I just got four balls. That's all I need, actually. How do you walk? <laughs> God damn it. Sing it. I did that as a wild shot, not expecting it to go anywhere. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is in your local time frame of the world. I hope everybody is having themselves a good wrap up to the week. I'm just getting a couple things set here. Already got that set. Getting ready to do some Final Fantasy XIV today. And if you like what you see, give the video a little like down below and hit that uh, little red subscribe button if you haven't. You'll hit the bell to be notified uh, what other times when I go live, when I post other videos of other games that I play. Um, it's going to be a somewhat random day today. I'm going to try to get through some of the um, main story quests. Want to come up to uh, a dungeon, or I have to wait for as a reaper. I'm gonna run around and do some fates and other little things as a sage to level sage up, uh, because I just unlocked that last week. And I happen to notice um, I've already got a job quest for sage, so I figure we'll just kick off with that. Let me go ahead and get uh, scene transitioned here. It's an ember. There may be a gold on our way. Uh oh. Uh oh, gold on her way. That could be dangerous. Uh, let's see, actually, let me get some game sound going in here. So let me do this. So you guys take up more of my scene. Do that. And do this. And do this. And get some sound in here. So how are you doing today, Ember? Taking screenshots for thumbnail. Oh, there you go. For for the um, uh, what you, the crack pack is that the one you were doing, or for the the one of the others? I like my little lasers. Crystals have... Uh, I'm dead. See, the crystal has imparted to you its knowledge as expected. Excellent. You already marked in your training, and naturally it begins with the armaments. A set of short staves known as Daulets. Daulets trace their roots to the healers of Eld, who employed naturally occurring objects of power known as Adderstones. Oh, she was on the Levitate! 
I don't remember had it green, you know, whitelisting her to be on there. Do I need to get into the console later today and make some adjustments? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> as long as she was just there for screenshots. You have thumbnails now. There you go. Oh, okay. This primitive design now less gradually evolved to the present form. The extraction far more sophisticated. Basic principle remains unchanged. You did it? Okay. Even the studium's most talented require years of training to become proficient. But you have an advantage that transcends talent. The crystal has chosen you. Its knowledge and technique will, become more, will come more naturally to you than others. Now, as much as I would like to have you try your hand with an analyst at once, I have just received promising intelligence from the man. Idleshire, the Dravidian hinterlands. Off to Idleshire we go. Yeah, because you can just enter the command in uh, in game chat. You don't have to do it through the console, right? Have the golden. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoever said you have the golden. I didn't think golden had anything to do with this server. Like, wait a minute, I'm paying for this server. So I'm gonna do. Stratum Alley's in now another minion. I'll run, out, run around with a demon brick today. That was a good place of justice. This report we believe the fugitives have recently passed through this town. I mean, so be here. Search, you'll see the town south. If you can tend Yeah. Just don't go her. Just don't let her go fiddling with any settings or anything. Uh, no. Hang on till tomorrow. We'll all go. An exposed shulker spawner. Why would they even need a spawner? And if anybody watching this later is wondering what we're talking about, uh, Ember and I uh, do a uh, we're doing the uh, levitated Minecraft mod pack together, and uh, I stream that over on Twitch, and stream she streams it here on YouTube. So you can go give that a like. Yeah, just there to take screenshots. That's that's fine. That's what I figured. Okay, when I'm talking to you. He shoots the pew pews. A sage barrier. Okay, you shot the pew pews at the other dude, but then you barriered against in front of me. I confused. In the eyes and ears, we'd best leave. Nice tats on the dude, though. You got a selfie with an Enderman? If, if, if there's somebody or something else in the picture, is it really a selfie? Or is it like a, a, a duel, an ussy? Because there's a picture of us in it. But you are still taking it of yourself. Well, if you had gold take it, is it still a self? Because gold didn't take the picture of herself. So again, is it still a selfie if somebody else took it and 
you're in the picture with somebody else. With the third person altogether. Took a few of you. <laughs> Special the student in fact would you mind telling us what happened? I like that dude's cloak. Dude's coat. That's what happened, what does it say? I was going about my business, they set upon me without provocation. Her, you, and Andy boy. <laughs> so that that would be that would definitely be an us. This has got the three of you in it. So we start from ill, and their destinations like to be saint. Ossian's Arboretum. Following the exodus, the cultivation of certain plants became forbidden in Charlie. That which can no longer be found in the motherland still grows freely there. Uh, dangerous plant stuff. I dare say it was for your knowledge that the fugitives attacked you. You too are a sage, yet you do not appear to be Charlie. How did you come by your soul crystal? Chicky over here gave it to me. People of Fizz Tekron had entrusted the crystal to me. When it exhibited a strong resonance, I in turn entrusted it to him. And you were chosen to inherit. Is odd amiss? No, it is nothing. I was but struck by the remarkable providence to have crossed paths with sages so far from me. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Great Master Louis Schwa once did. Though I'd never dare equate myself to him. Yeah, if we all go in, just uh, armor off. Just wearing our skins. Gold's always eating noms. Keep having to bug Gold to remember to eat. But every time she, she's not <laughs> streaming, she's eating. Might be after knowledge sealed in the Great Global Library. It's a compelling theory. Sales of Sage Magic. So they stole the leader's actions earlier leave little room for doubt. Not that it gives us any greater insight who they are, their ultimate goal. Regardless, to use the sage's soul crystal from Neil is unforgivable, and I'll not rest until these criminals have been brought to justice. Gold is a nom. Gold is a squirrel. Squirrel meets yummy to nom on. So yes, that is accurate. Big birdie, fly! Squirrely knob. Squirrely early knob, there we go. Actually, I saw a bunch of squirrels out and about uh, yesterday burying their nuts in uh, leaves and things. I think a couple of them might have been burying. A couple of them might have been trying, been trying to dig up their their hidden cache of uh, munchies. So they didn't seem to have anything in their mouths as they were digging in the leaves. Dive, dive, pull up, pull up. Oh, 
controller. Thank you. Start away during the yeah. <laughs> so the ashes to trade's window, access to the menu. Russet. English is for rich people. Shh. I need to set up a bot to for, for all my bot commands on here. Okay. Dangerous creatures that will draw their attention. You may focus on applying your techniques. Nice little introductory introductory mission. Someone not a gold. Cardia. Cardi is just the initial linking of us. Bot. Eucrasia, then Eucrasian diagnosis. Honestly, it looks like the uh, the, the Eucrasia diagnosis is going off. Let her die, darn it. Okay. This, this, this might take a couple run through tries here. I just have a flat. Okay, fl 
Plagma is just a flat attack. Prognosis is just a flat heal. Calls a good one. Heal. Do the, the, the barrier thing again. So actually if we do the Fizzes 2, that's a regen. I could have slept most of those enemies. <clears throat> Being sent stories now, more stuff to look at. <laughs> yeah, cause I got that repose. Seems to have been harvested here. I can't identify it by the many parts, however. Be 
other clues nearby. We should investigate further. I've been working on some story stuff myself lately, but I'm not sending it to anybody yet. talking about it. <laughs> yeah. So what could it possibly be? Well, carcass of a girl with plant life. I know it's going to be the one that, that, that she's uh, sitting in front of is going to be the important one. <coughs> Fought here, proficient wielder of magic. Fugitives may be close, but be on your guard. So is this one? Self or target member. Okay. Nice sword. Better I warned you once, I won't warn you again. Uh oh, we gotta fight these guys.
controller. Out of curiosity, seeing if that pose does not. I'm going to die this time. Yep. I didn't have enough HP. I was more focused on. Uh, their hit points on her hit points. Oracle's a big healer, too. Okay.
So much easier if it was um they were party members so I could see their uh, HP in the sidebar. I threw a heal on me when I should have thrown one, thrown one on her. Okay. So perhaps this is what I want to use for both of us.
I'm gonna go in just just to get it over with. I'll go easy on it. Just had to set it too easy. Got <laughs> Phineas and Ferb. What is but what? How'd you get? From, well, Doctor Coconut. I don't see a Doctor Coconut in Phineas and Ferb. Although, um, oh, Milo Murphy's Law was a, a fun series. Uh, Weird Al uh, voiced Milo Murphy, the grandson of the Murphy of Murphy's Law. They also happen to live in the Tri-City area. The Tri-State area, same as uh, Phineas and Ferb. 
Matter of fact, in the pilot episode of Milo Murphy's Law, you can see some of the Phineas and Ferb stuff in the uh, background. Carl! Yes! Oh, they left it something behind. What is this? Carl is Dr. Coconut. Okay, I'm going to need a bit more context on exactly who Carl is, because there's a lot of shows with Carl. Gold calls foxes Dr. Coconut. <laughs> Plant what they came for, I shouldn't doubt. It's a matter of herb, but none I've seen in my studies. On my way out, I'll stumble upon what appears to be a diary by the instance. He's a doctor ish. You say Carl, though, the main one I can think of is from Jimmy Neutron. I think it was. There was a Carl in Phineas and Ferb, wasn't there? Baljeed, Phineas and Ferb, oh he was the, he was the, the intern, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about, yeah, Major Monogram's intern, Carl. It's been a little while since I've watched the show. Hey, where's Perry? For a while, Carl ran the uh, Awaka organizations without a creative uh, acronym. I gotta go in the building, don't I? I, I do just because I have the Disney Channel. I haven't watched much in it. I've been watching more uh, Disney Plus. Uh, we're young and suffering, so, but if you want to save her, since we sages of Vices Technon, save her we will. It took many days and repeated treatments. We have managed to stabilize her most recent patient. We adapted the Eucrasia spell, as my clever husband proposed, and then it worked wonders. His brilliance truly belies his youth. Despite being 50 years my junior, he's already achieved so much. Okay, so we gotta get Sage to level 73. History Channel, True TV, and Impractical. Um, hey Ember. Yeah, I, I know you want a trip to Kansas City, you have to make it this April. One of the Impractical Jokers is gonna be here for Planet Comic Con. In April. So. You know, I got to get to Rods and Han is not attuned. Couldn't attune to it yet. Um, you're gonna make me look this up, aren't you? Let me see here. Uh, 
I mean, as if coming to, to a Comic Con to visit me too isn't enough. No, I gotta, gotta drag you out for somebody else too. Uh, Cause I know one of them, one of the the uh, guys is leaving. Uh, actually, Joy Fatone has done some things with uh, the Impractical Jokers. He's gonna be here. Uh, Brett Awan, the, the voice of Mickey Mouse. Ah, James Murray. James Murray is going to be here from Impact Impractical Jokers. So. Yeah, Murr. We'll have one one uh, official Joker and one uh, honorary Joker. Actually, I should find the Robot Chicken episode where they have Joy Fatone in it, and I'd grab a screenshot of that to have them sign. Uh, it is April, the weekend of April twentieth. So obviously I will not be streaming that weekend. And I will be busy doing other things. And uh, I know last week I said I would uh, look into uh, some of the um, Aetherite quests and Aetherite current, Aether current locations. Aether current quests, Aether current locations. I can't get to most of them until I unlock more of this area for uh, through main story quests. Just come back. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's definitely this year because it's here in a couple of months. And they, they, they've asked me to be a uh, sidekick this year. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I will do my best to meet Murray for you. I mean, heck, if you have anything you want autographed for, from him, uh, you can send it to me. I'll get an autograph for you and send back. Yeah, they, True TV does tend to marathon them a bit. They had that uh, um, that game show for a while too, Misery Index. Um, I closed out that window, didn't I? Yeah, I closed that tab. Um, let me. I just want to, I, there, there, there's a guest I want to uh, make sure he's still coming. Yep, Adam Savage from Mythbusters is going to be here. Uh, so a handful of there's a handful of voice actors that are coming. 
Brandon Ralph from Legends of Tomorrow and Superman Returns is going to be here. Uh, Charles Martinet, the official voice of uh, Mario. Uh, George Newbern, uh, voice of Sephiroth. Uh, Phil Lamar, he's done a ton of voices. Been in a, he's been in a ton of things. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Nicole Kang from Batwoman. From the Batwoman series is going to be here. Uh, got a handful of wrestling uh, celebrities that are going to be here. Um, and Maria Canals Barrera, she was the mother in Wizards of Waverly Place, is going to be here. Uh, she's also in she plays uh, voices Hot Girl in the Justice League animated series. So, <laughs> yep, yeah, Booker T is going to be here. Jerry the King Waller is going to be here. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter is going to be a few few classic uh, wrestlers. Chardonnay, I want to be, yeah. They got to do that. <laughs> so, that, yeah, see, some people have autograph books. Um, I just have various uh, unique items that I have. Uh, I have the celebrity sign. Um, uh, like if, if Patrick Stewart ever shows up, I've got a copy of my book *Dangerous Stars* that uh, most of the other main cast of *Next Generation* have all signed. That I, I will have him sign. Uh, <laughs> See, I know, I know some parents have, have stopped letting their kids watch WWE for that very thing there, Ember. <laughs> but uh, I also have a, uh, a Locutus of Borg Funko Pop to have Patrick so Stewart sign. Um, Edward James Olmos, he was uh, Captain Adama in uh, Battle the, the Battlestar Galactica remake. He's been, he's been in a ton of things. Um, I had him sign a... Uh, Screenshot of the uh, claymation dog he voiced in the last Christmas episode of Eureka. Oh, I've already, already tuned to this one, okay. Uh, is Gold here and being all shy? If Gold wants to lurk, Gold can lurk, that's fine. Into the door straight ahead, then descend the steps. I think staring was confusing, but it doesn't compare to Rods and Han. Architecture and decorations make it even harder to get your bearings. Let's see where this door leads. Get in out of the rain. <laughs> See if somebody just wants to lurk while while I'm live, that can lurk. Uh, so just wants to sit back and watch the vods later. That you know that's fine too. Let's see how's my gear looking? Oh, gear's all fine. Okay. my inventory looking? How full is that? Okay, I got space for stuff. And no... Um, materia. 
<laughs> Why does Brick have legs? Brick is Demon Brick. So Brick has legs, tail, and wings. It's literally a demonic brick. Why wouldn't it have legs? I'm kinda surprised it doesn't have a pitchfork and horns, too. Must we found the place. <laughs> These are the talismans we were promised. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. No, it's not a demon sugar cube. Process, that if it was a demon sugar cube, it would have melted so in the rain we were just in. Span of time. It's a demon it's brick. A miracle. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, We'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Zot. That's just that's just a fun word to say. Tower of or Zot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Teloperoi's base of operations. It does look like a sugar cube, yes. It probably doesn't taste much like a sugar cube. You know, it being a of course, we would need to consult with various alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. Uh, Ari Ariadne's getting east. bored. Bosjir and Dalmaska are just a short hop from here. And Doma's shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. Meanwhile, I think it's best <laughs> that you and the others take the talismans back to the Bardessian I didn't Annex. lick it, I just figured, hey, it's a brick. It's not going to taste like a sugar cube. <laughs> Please, I must speak with you. Nidhana, what's the problem? Nidhana, you're awake. Yes. I was still when not going to be anywhere in her line of fire. She told sneezed. me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. People lick people lick all kinds of things they really it shouldn't. Seems I've been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to go. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. Can you imagine, and not I just being in front of her when she's here, can you a tissue? I cannot thank Having you have enough. A, how much of a tissue you'd need to wipe that nose after a good sneeze. All of you, for everything you've done, destroying the tower, rescuing our people, you've saved Havnir from an awful fate. <laughs> oh, Ember, I haven't had faith in the human race in a long time. Yet who has proved it's, I, I don't know that we're too insane but for too long you in no the... to thine inspirational courage the alchemists were successful in reproducing <sighs> warding scales of proven efficacy the incorrect vocal minority has been given a loud voice replications of thy work now stand now there's some, some vocal minorities yes have earned their voice but under the hands of those who there, there's them at... people that have been given voice that really shouldn't have the talisman so is this true? Part of it's due to the internet, part of it's due to political kowtowing. So. Yes, that was Kral in the background, too. Oh, I was so groggy from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it.
I'll show you the flower that changes on Look your basic that. mood. Its color is completely changed. The mood flower. What do you have there? How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. Akasha? I'm Bless afraid you. I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Harnish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feeling. You imply that it is distinct from ether. Our foreign scholars often conflate the two, but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. So it's the force! Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach. A gift bestowed from on high, or torn from the heavens in some tradition. So essentially, the Aether in Final Fantasy XIV is the force. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. Which, if you think about only tapping into the Aether to, influence it to cast spells and things like that, it actually, yeah, that makes a lot of I sense. It's a spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the battlefield, surely you've experienced moments of desperation or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. <laughs> May the Aether be with you. Akasha, <laughs> the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I did see if uh, Pine is live tonight with Nonsense. this. Nonsense, you have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. If he is, I gotta drop that line about Aether being the force. Shall we depart for Charlian then? And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Well, it depends on exactly when he starts, when I can get in, because I'm doing work stuff. To close a couple things here. Well, what about this and NX? Oh, excuse me. Let's see, are there any others? An Aether crystal up over here. Ethernet shard, I mean. Yeah, I gotta go this way. the Hall of the Radiant host yet? No. So 
This one here I just did. So I can get these two right on here. I can't get to the Aetherite Plaza because it won't let me attune to that one yet. I'll see. I was assuming I even remember tonight too if he is live. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. But see, I, I don't have Gilded on my phone or on my laptop, so I probably won't see it in Gilded. Uh, actually, I need to see ha what settings he has, because in my Discord, I have it set I have a channel for when uh, new videos go up on YouTube, and um, you know you 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 uh, <laughs> you've you've yelled at the bot in there a couple of times, but when Pine goes live, his video pops up in there right away. When I go live, or Zine goes live on his Saturday stuff. The video doesn't pop until uh, the stream is over. So I want to see what setting does does Pine have that's hitting my bot differently. I made. DM him that rather than just asking in open chat. So I can have Discord open on my phone, but again, it, it's it's a matter of what am I doing at the time. It doesn't matter if I have Discord open or not. Uh, if I'm you know helping somebody with a box. You know, helping one of the residents with uh, a package they just received. I, you know, I can't be at the computer to... <laughs> just... um, and I think for some reason, because you're, you're posting, posting them as a premiere, right? So this is something that's going to happen. Um, and it's reading th those posts as a new video going up. So... Finally got your YouTube notification set up. Yeah. Now let's see an annex. We'll just do that. Zoom and the zoom. The zoopy zoopy zoom. The zoopy zoopy I'll go ahead and retire to our new approach. What is it we're getting? Archon Loaf. Skill, speed, and vitality. That's good. Aha. Post the video after you're done streaming. Yeah. It's also stream elements. Putting our flower down there. So I think stream elements. Uh, stream elements might be posting it as a uh, 
premiere kind of thing. Oh, somebody go knock knock on the door. Good. Oh, you're here. Uh, you haven't eaten yet, have you? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. DoorDash. Only the finest dining from the Aorzi and DoorDash. <laughs> Oh, I had a problem with an Instacart last night at work. Oh, man. The resident was not happy. Um, they had a set time window when the, the, it was to be delivered. Uh, that's a big old cheeseburger he's got there. Isn't it? <laughs> so he doesn't like pickles. Uh... Nice, nice, nice graphical touch with the cheese meat wonder, slide at the bottom. We invited um, Astinian as well. So, so Instacart. But resident had placed an order. Rather grim -faced. No they originally told her it would be delivered you. between uh, noon I and two. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to uh, his liking. They didn't show up, so they said it again between like. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Six and eight or something like that. They said it for later. And. Uh, what? To perfect his brooding stare. Notified her it had been delivered, but Next nobody time, ever came I'll to the front desk with the condo. Ear, sit him down in front of a so, feast, and see that he eats I was just out doing my normal bite. rounds, and I happened to go out back An by the, the pool idea. area, which of is all the pool's people, closed because of the, the must weather. Take proper meals and rest if they are um, to maintain a healthy constitution. And there, Boston, just inside the, the back fence of the pool area is a whole bunch of grocery bags. The Instacart delivery guy had literally walked up a set of stairs from a neighboring condo. Speaking of the stairs run along the major road, so it's smile. easy to see those steps. I but uh, he walked up that sidewalk, set the groceries inside the fence, and left. Didn't even try to find the front desk of the building itself, which would have been tiring, easier yes, to get to no lasting harm done. than what he did. I don't know exactly how long they sat there, but Anything, her egg and waffles were all soft. To speak with her, longer. her ice cream was half melted. I've uh, her her, her turkey deli meats was made kind of iffy. So she had them reorder and replace a lot of that stuff. Yes? So. Twill be your guide. So yeah, the. Test. And proof of your the, 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 when the guy brought the replacement stuff, Something he came up to the front door, dropped it there in the front door, darkness, called the resident, took the stuff right up to her. Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Radzat Han? Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt. The relief of a people with renewed hope. So yeah, she was not happy with this Indeed. Instacart that day. And in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlofaroi or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. Oh, but even within the midst she did. of our struggles, well. We, we couldn't report the other dude. We never saw him. To sustain us. Rare and hard one, perhaps. But it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. But yeah. She was all over the phone hey, with the mine. Instacart people. To the swift, the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. Mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. Hmm. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume? Aye. And from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. T'was necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or 
To put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. Uh, I... yes. Well, I mean, after a fact... In the instructions, she's, she specifically said, leave it with the people at the front desk. So, since the guy left it by the gate, by the pool, no desk, no people. Yeah, she was, she was very, very not happy. They're tall, you see. The shelves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so we had to use levitation to get up to the books high on the shelves. Makes sense to me. Okay, gold, you missed all the noms. I'm sorry, this whole scene in our, our room here, I keep expecting the uh, the, the ghost from uh, Shadowbringers to show up. I'm not that ambitious, but it is pleasant to idle away the hours every once in a while. <laughs> Look, the flowers are growing a nice, glowing a nice, happy green. Kind of wonder what color would glow near him. Probably find some way to glow black. I'm gonna eat some more of this. This is a, a trek bar. That one of the residents gave me after I helped her find her phone. Ah, enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur or fashioned from the skins of your enemies? Or, well, <laughs> never mind that. A cloak fashioned from the skins I of your enemies. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled, and I need not tell you by whom. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon ether. Mm -hmm. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes... questionable. Yes, Fan Daniel, Mr. Melodrama himself. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. And Xenos, the um, embodiment of obsession. So obsessed uh, with defeating yes, me, very well he then. came back to life. I suppose I must prepare um, a proper welcome. Possessed somebody else's body until he could kick out the person who was possessing his. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is... equal. Equally tedious. <laughs> equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink to I mean, to yes, thrash yeah. as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow until the void yawned once more, and then I knew the 
luck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn, burn, let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. So he wants to fight me again. Doesn't care if the whole rest of the world burns in the process. How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. <laughs> I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. Pity him. Definitely pity him. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me. So I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you, And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Emptiness. Yes. I think that is something we can both enjoy. Well, achievement unlocked on Wings of... Computer weapon coffer. Part level 82, item level 525. Shoot the cut of his former students. I'm gonna go visit somebody else here in town. is going to stick around here whilst I go round up the twins. Actually, I want to do... What was I going to do? I had a th oh yeah, I was going to look at uh, 5.30, okay. Looks like I need a new ring. I wouldn't hurt to try to find a new weapon, too. Actually, I think I'm okay. But the reward at the end of this uh, just gets me uh, gets me gear weaker than what I've got. I'll be worrying over his reputation. Or Alma Mater, no less. So I'm going to go back to school, but Al uh, Alphano's worried about it. For the recent issues with Daddy Boy. Daddy. I was about to say Daddy Boy, but that doesn't make any sense. I like the music. check that I've, uh, yep, attuned to all the Ethernet shards here. Music, yep. Happy music's here. The little, little bass groove as we get into the cutscene. Testing 
grounds for experimental magics and a host of administrative offices and so forth. Center of what would later become the studium, it was established to promote the study of aetherological phenomena, hence the name. Though with aether being a fundamental aspect of nature, its scope expanded to include every conceivable facet of life, even the universe itself. So studies life, the universe, and everything. So there should be a big 42 on the front of the building. And then, in the 432nd year of the 6th Astral Era, the phenomenon was decreed complete and the studium officially opened as a place of learning. Long and straight history is a question of the world's leading authority in etherology, the arcane, the occult, the astromancy, and countless other fields, standing proud as Charlie's foremost educational institute. <laughs> I did enjoy giving the grand tour to new students. Well, how many, I lost track of how many times he's recited the same foppish speech, such as his undying love for his old stomping grounds. He was in top form back then, youngest in the studium, graduated with highest honors, undisputed champion of the debating chamber. Hold on, you both joined the studium at the same age, right? From where I stand, you're equally prodigious scholars. Nice of you to say, but he actually entered half a year before Alice. Okay. Nor did I do well enough to graduate with honors. I'm certainly not the studium's most notorious master. <laughs> she, she's not the, the the studium's master debater. Alpha knows a better master debater than she is. <laughs> in all respects, I have never been in his shadow. If nothing else, just remember that this is where the legend of Alpha No Levelure began. We should expect everyone to be fully aware of our recent escapades. Hopefully, we'll be somewhat more welcome here than we were at last stand. No better than anyone, the adoration of the student body for Alpha No, but with a bit of luck, it might work to our advantage. Hey, Ember, I... Hey, I... They, they, they pop that phrase literally in her chat. In her message there. So... They they open, they open the door wide open. I just walked right through. <laughs> first things first, let's look for Skullark Montage. Our other faculty would frequent their offices. Unfortunately for us, he's fond of wandering wheresoever his whims take him. We'll split up and go find him. Sister and Master Odessian's granddaughter. Event of epoch shattering proportions is fast approaching. She had Thorn, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'd, 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 be, we'd be saying something back and forth on that one. Now, I'll say just over here, quietly, peacefully, chatting with a couple of people. And Alpha knows over here got a whole cheering crowd. <laughs> but see, we won't be playing this tomorrow, Ember. That, that, that won't, we'll, I'd have to somehow drop that that phrase into the conversation naturally. And then watch things take off. That's not as easy to do as when the game literally puts it out there. Start with a question. What is the most important thing you'll find in the studio? Books. That's simple. Everything else. <laughs> Books are the most important, and second most important is everything else. Gotcha. Yeah, but that, you know, we, we, we take off on other conversations, other inappropriate comments, but, you know, if you want that specific one, it's a little bit more difficult. Otherwise, we just take what flows naturally. Uh... Down many mis miscellaneous knickknacks in my time. I'm no waiter. Oh, 
We don't have any skull arcs. It's like, oh, never mind. Yeah. Maker's meat. <sighs> I like that. Home to many rare and expensive curios, not to mention alarmingly frequent accidents. If you lose your way, just follow the blood curdling screams. Ah. Uh. Now that's 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 how you give somebody direction somewhere. It's just, yeah, tell them to follow the blood curling screams. Oh, I think I'm out of range of it. A level-headed student. His head, his head's flat. Should totally level there. Going, planning to go next. By the way, he went down the corridor, perhaps to one of the auditoriums. <laughs> Found him first try. <laughs> Ember, you're condoning it as a ah, manner of accepting it, because you know what's going to happen anyway. I pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. We wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum. could hardly let that inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, aye, but a majority nonetheless. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly <laughs> departed friends, Gallif and Louis Soir, in a less doer setting. But it seems I just missed yeah. you. Yeah. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the Forum. My affair brought a tear to my own eye. You must have the patience of a saint, putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. Luckily, I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need <laughs> advice, don't hesitate to ask. Sorry, I just got, I've got like a, I've got 20 email messages. Most of them are junk, but 20 email messages if I may, this morning. There is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. <laughs> Thorin, I what don't know that he lurks. Duty that the forum must much of my, my YouTube streams. Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. Our duty is of the gravest importance. Furthermore, if the particulars were made public, it would incite widespread panic. He's just idle here. Yeah. As such, those well, I said, I know what his um, duty have work been schedule is like either. By an enchantment, which prevents us from speaking of such matters. Without the express permission of the Forum. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, take a seat. Yay, we're gonna get lectured by a very, very tall dude. Who's always fashionable because his hair matches his robes. Those are some big tables we're at, too.
That's kind of cool. <clears throat> we shall begin by reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. So are we at Hogwarts the now with the magic classes? which imbues us with life can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? Yes, very good. Corporeal ether, I got it. Yeah, so smart. This is the form with which the layman is most familiar. Consumed by even the simplest of daily activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us, this form of ether is in constant flux. <laughs> in contrast, the ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. The same can be said for memory, as the two are intrinsically linked. It's a lot like the, the, the... Picture the soul as paper, and memories as words written upon it. Welcome to the... Something, hype, hype dream? Now... Nah. What would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories. Memories would disappear. It would blot out everything that was written. Precisely. We would be unable to recall the memories, and any activities that depend upon them would be hindered as well. In fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? The Sixth Umbral Calamity. The Seventh Umbral, oh, seventh umbral Calamity. calamity. The people of Eorzea vividly recall Bahamut breaking free of the Lesser Moon and raining hellfire down upon the realm. But no one could seem to remember the events that followed immediately afterwards. Indeed. To this day, we have yet to determine whether it was an unintended consequence or a deliberate act. The enchantment which binds me and the rest of the Forum is based on a similar principle. And yes, it is a contravention of the Charlene prohibition against the practice of memory manipulation. Only when a new member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. A necessary evil. You have my word that it would never be used to manipulate the populace. I should hope not. But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? If nine-tenths of our members give their approval, then the process may be reversed. Then, and only then, would we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty. Barring that, we must wait until we return to the ethereal... Duty. So, they're given a sacred duty, told what the duty is, and, and, and everything... But that is wiped from their memories. So they can't go around talking about it. They just have to do it without knowing <laughs> what's being done. Or why it's being done. For there we will be purified. The blots upon our souls washed clean. Our memories drift apart and dissolve, rather defeating the purpose, I suppose. But there are those memories that are indelibly etched upon our souls. Some They're redacted, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
What happens after that? We are reduced to pure ether, coalesce with that of others, and create souls anew. Right. Gotta, gotta, gotta steal kitten walking by here for a second. Alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal world, reborn into another form. Both theories have their proponents. Personally, I consider each equally probable. Well, I think that's enough education for today. Now that I've given you some food for thought, or rather, an entire banquet. She says hi back, Ember. <laughs> nice, nice touch, though, the, the reluctance. I would part. remind you that although I'm unable to assist you with certain matters, <laughs> the resources at my disposal may still be of use to you. I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of phenomenon. Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Valdesian, this privilege is extended to you as well, my friend. Yay, I can run around in the big school oh, anytime I want. And I suggest you speak with Ki Aliapo. She's well known among the artisans of Charlian. And her network of contacts may prove useful in your search for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your pursuits. So, so if I get to run around this big school <laughs> studying magic, do you think I can go find the Gryffindor uh, common room? Or should I go look for the Slytherin one first? Game caliber would put your artist. artist in. Yeah. True. Okay. Let's head back to the Enix. <laughs> what? It is a big school of magic. Yeah, you know what? I gotta. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're comparing the uh, Aether to the Force. So why, why not have a little uh, Harry Potter reference, too? <clears throat> Actually, I, let me... Computer weapon. That's 525 on the weapon. My weapon's only 520. So this would be a weapon upgrade. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Strength to go seven to two ten, critical hit and vitality up a little bit. Direct hit rate. Direct hit rate down, I'm not worried about that stat, that's a hey, stat. But yeah, my damage goes up by one. Strength goes up by three, vitality goes up by four. Here. Actually, I really like the one that looked like a chainsaw. I think it was this one. Yeah. I might have to glamour that one.
waiting for a dungeon to pop up here sometime. Actually, after this cutscene, I need to get more drink. My milk is all gone. There's a word from our fellow Scions. As expected, news of the warning scales was met with much joy. Preparations are now underway to bring the leadership of the Grand Company of Eorzea and its wise together to determine a way forward. This goes to Limsa Laminsa. It's time for us to go on the offensive. It looks that way. Scales out of storage. Give me a hand, would you, Astinian? I'll, I'll give you a hand, Kryle. There, I gave you a hand. I'm sorry. That, 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 that's just a bad enough joke. You know, it's it's got to be dropped every now and then. Oh, these crates were so heavy. Shouldn't complain, though. Virtua and the Alchemists did the great work with their heart and soul into each and every one of these scales. Just treat, treat them with the utmost care. I would like to escape the forum's watchful gaze and rule choice, but to stay behind. By my capacity as our official representative, without consorting with foreign powers. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. So she's gonna stay here and play messenger when everybody else gets back to town. Tide is about to turn. I can feel it. To Limsa Laminsa. And if, there, if there's anywhere that, that's going to be a place to have a tide turn, it's going to be Limsa Laminsa. Alrighty. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and teleport to Limsa Laminsa. That's going to take a minute for that to load, because everybody and their cousin likes to hang out in the lower decks of Limsa Laminsa. So while that loads, I'm going to go refresh my drink. Just give myself some water. Uh, and I encourage everybody else to get up, stretch their muscles, move around a bit, you know, flex the joints, rehydrate, dehydrate as needed. So I will be back in just a minute. Um, I do I want to leave this up or do I want to go ahead and uh, throw up the BRB? I'm going to go ahead and throw up the BRB screen. So, uh, then I will, I will mute the game. I don't know why this likes to... There. Okay. Sorry, I had, I had a few things on the BRB screen that didn't really need to be there. So... Throw the BRB screen, get some music going. I'm gonna mute the game. I'll do that before I uh, step away. I don't wanna exit game. So, let's get the music up and going. Because some, sometimes people do like to play songs in the game.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm ready to go. I snacked. I drinked. I stretched and flexed and moved and bounced and all of that stuff. Check some alerts in uh, Gilded. And actually, I'm going to leave Gilded open here on my computer. You guys can't see it, but I can. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so... Uh, so I can, I can message Pine later. Frames, yada, yada, yada. Everything, Ember, you see nothing. Okay. So let me see here. You 
you see it all. You see all you want to see, and on my screen, you want to see nothing. My screen gets spooky, spooky scary at times. <clears throat> Three of the most powerful women in the world in one room. Do you need a moment to prepare, or shall I show you to them? Oh, go ahead and send me up. Got myself a. Since I had a healthy snack, I'm gonna grab a very unhealthy jelly bean. Or two. Or three or four. Or six. <laughs> Apologies for calling you away from Charlene at such short notice. Contrary, we are honored and grateful. Pleasantly surprised to be joined by such esteemed company. What, what? Struggling against the towers. Only a matter of time before we lose. Victory can only be claimed through decisive action. We have taken the initiative to set the wheels in motion. It's good to we all agree. I have a big bag now empty of Starburst Jumbo uh, jelly beans. So, big fat jelly beans and Starburst flavors. They've been fighting here, waiting on the warding scales. There's an, an abductions of Cobalt, Sahagen, Ixel, and Ananta. Rise to an increasing number of primals. Yep. Very much yum. Okay. So they're planning on going after Garlemald while the rest of the forces hold the primals and the other areas at bay. The objectives are twofold. Help out the people of Garlemald. <coughs> <coughs> Do not meet in a mic by mic pop the headset. Robbed of their free will, they serve the Telophroys every whim without question. Pay to our victims, we have to deliver them from suffering. Because it is the right thing to do. everywhere else meant to spread everybody thin so you could just come in and conquer. So the extra aether that each tower is collecting yeah is going back to the big one. Nope, you want us to go in with that. <clears throat> yep. The Ilsebard contingent and take out the big tower. Well, I want to say all of them. For the people of Garnemald. This 
because I really like that just how big these jelly beans are. These are big fat jelly beans. Gotta go to the Alamegan Quarter. Last one. That's sad. I'll just have to go out and buy more. the warning skills are going to make it all possible. <clears throat> so we're going to get everybody up, get everybody together, send them off, and then go back to their defensive posts. That's good. Please, everybody. Yep. Metro the beach side, charging into the fray. Last time battles in my own fight, where words may serve me better than any play. I hate to say it, but Lord Emmerich's struggles mirror my own. For the time being, the best we can offer you is the peace of mind, knowing Eorzea is in safe hands. As you fight the good fight in Ilsebard, I and the other commanders will do what we can to convince the naysayers that our cause is just. Ah! Gaius! The guy whose butt we beat in the first uh, expansion. Or fir first story. From what I gather, the protective talismans you obtained led to the formation of this expeditionary force. My contribution on this occasion is but a minor one, that being the information I have shared with Maxim. Sake the people of Garlemald, may the fates be on your side. So you're not coming with us? Strange, I thought you'd have a stake in this. I do. The Talafori have laid waste to my homeland and enslaved my people. Though every mote of my being cries for vengeance, I cannot be the one to deliver it. <clears throat> my presence alone would place the entire mission in jeopardy. I stand accused of murdering Emperor Varus and plunging Garnemald into chaos. Were I to travel with the Ilsbard contingent, it would give my countrymen an ample cause to question our motives. Conversely, those who believe me innocent may instead celebrate the return of a former Legatus and attempt to raise me to a position of leadership, further destabilizing the region and complicating the institution's mission. Whether I am branded a villain or hailed as a hero, I would only endure your efforts. We will deliver your people from harm in your stead. I mean, what he says makes sense. What is this worth? You have my gratitude. Strength and courage to deliver my countrymen. Adam Geist's rather unique circumstances, I instead will assume the role of your guy. Made affected for political reasons, my love for Garlemald endures. I will stop at nothing to protect her and her people. But I ask you to escort our friends inside. Might even bump into an old acquaintance or two. I don't see you getting there yet apart, so be the fury, guide, and protect you, all of you. Now what 
jobs do I have? That are at least 82. 82. Summoner is 82. Ninja's 82. Oh, wait. Forgot to register that new scythe in the, the part of the list. Do I get the code of casting? 510, 510. Yeah. So, whoops. What do I have as far as what's on my ninja? 515, 530, 520. Yeah. Oops. I keep doing the wrong button. Almasty Serge Coat of Casting. 515 to 525, bit of a boost there. Then equip it. See that? Ooh, that actually looks kind of cool. Oh, I get a special gift on this one. Members of the Ilspard Contingent are gathered in the Royal Palace. Let us know over there. Yes, let me into the Royal Palace. Let me in, 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 let me in. Can I come in? Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. Hey, as long as it's not dinner you're starting without me, that's fine. As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. It is a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world. Including the people of Gaia. showing off. And... Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzbard <laughs> contingent. Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many trusted comrades, yourselves included. What? I make bad. I make dad jokes. I'm a dad. Lucia. Any joke I tell is technically going to be a dad joke. I have come at the behest of Lord Emmerich, who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative for the good of all nations. Not least my former homeland. I am determined to see this mission through to its end. We have a hard road ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. We too welcome this opportunity to work together once more. I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. <sighs> Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Everyone, if I may have okay. your attention. Okay, if she's wearing metal gloves, how do we just, how do, how do we get a, a clap sound out of it, not a clang? There's a little bit of a clank there, yes, but, well, because the gloves were the, 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 like a leather palm or something, so I can maybe see it. So you're not going to be wanting grip a, a sword hilt Might I ask metal. you to speak first? Ah, if I Grenania. must. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, 
The elder seeds here. How do you even see with your bangs? We Quite that low. We support and protection to those in need during our time in Gollumon. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild, with the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. Of course, with an experienced white mage such as yourself accompanying us as well, those requiring more involved treatment will be in safe hands. Raya O sends her regards, by the way. <laughs> so I am level 60 white mage. Suppose I'd better say my pace. Wait, I know you. The name's Sickard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. Anyway, <laughs> the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, he picked it. He was the one who was trying to take course, over the if ship. I refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key haul in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you gotta trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. There you go. Actually, that's when I'm getting a little goosebumpy. Getting get, get some goosebumps on my Since arms. Since we all know how this. much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Of course, just like the Gradanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive <laughs> purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls. Believe you me. Ah, <laughs> oh, I like that line. Hey there, Fluffy. Well, How are you doing? Today, but then again, I'm so doing we. good. Thought I'd get, the get a little uh, 14 in before work today. Assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. If Garlemald has through the Forden, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for Glad us Glad you're doing follow. good. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarrapin and I will be leading from the front. Conjurers, Black Mage. It's been some time mage. since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself, Master Matoya. The Final Avatar Fantasy is going good. We're, I think we're, we're heading towards the big battle here as part of the uh, early Endwalker <laughs> um, expansion. With comrades like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And we're not going to fight the big bad yet, we're just getting started. Rest. But until then, let's give it our all. But we're putting together the forces to go to war, basically. As for Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. The bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days ahead. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. The four high houses, House Hylinart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lumitsa. There is another awaiting introduction. <laughs> Lord Emanolaine? Ah, yes. Uh, Emanolaine de Fortor, at your service. Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. <laughs> And make something yourself, but and go ahead and defend the, the world. Yeah. For a spot of 
ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. Why would I? I mean, uh, it's been a while since I've done a uh, Hildebrand quest. But I wouldn't be surprised if you see Hildebrand in the background of this whole group scene somewhere. I dare say your fancy footwork may be all that stands between us and certain doom. Huzzah! I cannot wait to regale Onohoa with my tales of daring do. Actually, I've, I've thought for a long time that a dancing troupe I would make a hell of a combat troupe. For the grand company of Eorzea. Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Would that be the Shinobi of Doma? Actually, they've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, because um, if you think about it, some of, some of the, the, the sweeping moves stead. and kicks and stuff, you put like, you know, blades along a, a dancer's arm and, or hand, or like spikes on a boot or something, and you have some of those kicks and moves and flips and stuff completed. Out of my way, you preening fool! Oh, is this who I think it is? Okay, no, it's not who I initially thought it was, but this is a group that's going to kick some ass. <laughs> Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Sirena, and you've brought company. For battle and blood we come, as a step is sorely lacking. <laughs> no towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. No quarter to the enemy! She, <laughs> she wants so to nuke them all! No, we go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Warriors of the Steppe, we've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... Members of the Dalmascan Resistance Group, Lente's Tears. And the Bosnian Resistance. Between them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage, and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities, which is fortuitous. Since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. I don't remember. I'm sure I've encountered him. Bosia, Alamigo. All lands which have suffered the tyranny. But I don't remember them specifically. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Tilophoroi, the common folk of Garlemald. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. The Empire's always been the enemy, so the citizens of the Empire don't but exactly want to go help them out. Seen. Fighting and working against and with Garleans. There's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. For Dola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Eorzean here knows Sid Garland, the Imperial defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Gaius bloody Balesar himself is working to help rebuild Whirlit, a nation he wants conquered. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy. But we're all determined to make this world a better place. What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree <laughs> with everything you said wholeheartedly. 
keep on agreeing. Then we are in accord. Now, let us review our strategy. To reach the Galian capital in northern Ilsebad, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. As they appear to the Telophoroi sounds like an alien race. The Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigational systems, further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. From there, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. So they got the logistics all figured the out. The ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So, it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. I know it's not going to happen, but I we wish I could have my Gundam back in this bit. So we must be prepared to think on our feet. We will be tested. Sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. I know in the game they didn't. You Spare don't call no your, effort in your preparation. Uh, Once that's what we I depart, it. there is no turning back. Several other tribes offered to send troops of their own. Partially due to their physiology, many would struggle to simply survive in the harsh climate. They would also likely prove tempting targets for abduction by the Tlapo. Yeah. A few shall have to suffice. Area Mark was distribute the warning scales for our comrades. Gonna have me hand out. The Sound keeps coming in is. So we got uh still had um gilded open. Pippin! I kind of wonder if I didn't have White Mage at 60. Uh, well, I wonder what he would have said, or if anybody else would have said something different, as far as like another job I had unlocked or something. It's a fan. We're gonna get Tatu making new outfits for everybody for the cold. <laughs> Tatu's 
Tatar is just perfect at getting where she needs to be. Outfits as required. Nice dagger on the back of her belt there, too. Handcrafted by yours truly. We got a North Sea coat. I won't put it on. I might glamour it for something else, but let me go ahead and see what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, the Stinian doesn't have to worry about being cold. He's already got dragon fire within his within his keep him warm. does look toasty. Yeah, that's definitely going to get glamoured. Fairing Union continued across the mountains to Garlemald. Sex of this expedition, our resources are at your disposal. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. In addition, you will be required to participate in battle, okay? By all means, let us proceed. Finally, we get to fight! I mean, we did a little fighting at the start of, of stream with uh, uh, Sage. Adding another land to the map. Here's when we do a different area. So, yes, adding another Ilsebad, land. divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? On the outskirts of the imperial <laughs> capital, in the oh, frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. <sighs> Magna Glacius, large ice, large glacier. The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. <sighs> <laughs> some of the cold, some are just chilling out. <laughs> Good the morning, Ember. Sanquit's reconnaissance party. They've sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports that they are led by Vagilia, legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. 
But still, he Indeed. managed to bring them together. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the civil war. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald. The very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament, and imprisonment? Yeah. Not impossible, but easier said than done in the heat of battle. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. In just a second here. He did. He and the other scouts si have Silence already gilded. infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments. And once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel, and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Where are they? Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. Guessing I'll be in the vanguard. As for the scions, I ask that you lend your assistance where you deem it needed most. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. That's well, okay. So I'm not starting in the vanguard, but I'll end up there anyway. Meanwhile, at the Imperial Supply Depot, things gonna go boom. He blends in with that wall really well. The lion's not so much, but he does. Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperials' toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. <laughs> Consider it done. If Stoller always did have a flair for the Jurassic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. All right, once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's magitech with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. It's like an Our upgraded magitech that I've kind of wanted for myself to now. Automated units <clears throat> via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line giving our friends a much-needed upper hand. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. 
I, I really well. like his Thancred's uh, cold the best weather gear. Of Everybody's looks kind of cool, but Thancred's I really like that. Oh, I'm fighting as Thancred now. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. Y'all, sneaky, sneaky, snick. Afraid of that, the, the mechanical one. Come on, controller. Thank you. Explosives are in place. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Understood. 
Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. Gotta try that one again. Okay. But now I know where, where I can do better early. But you know what? I've only got 20 minutes before I have to get ready for work. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hold off on this one until next time. Instead. Level 69. Yeah. Gishel Green.
<laughs> He's level Just soloing this fate. Semi soloing it because I do have my my choke. Dang it! We got outside of his, too far outside of his range to so reset.
Oh sure. I get down down to a percent. That's when somebody else shows up. Flying piggy. Another one up over here. That one's got four minutes left, but then it's not gonna be enough time to do anything. This one might have enough time left. Another level 69 fate. Oh, there's somebody working on this one, so we'll go ahead and give it a try. Tell her to hang on just a minute because I can raise her as soon as I'm done with the fight. Two minutes left to get 30% done. We gained about 75,000 experience points, but it's still not enough. I think I need to go through a passage here.
There we go. Right where they're spawning. I haven't even touched, I barely touched this. taking out these, these clay beasts that are guarding him. I don't think I'm going to complete this faint. Uh, two and a half minutes to take him down 90%. Might be close, we might have it. Thirty seconds, thirty five percent now. And on that note, I need to wrap things up. 
I have to I have to go deal with the real world for here for a while. So I don't know, we got we got a sliver of experience for Sage. With those fates. Uh, we got quite a few cutscenes completed. And learned a lot about the next battle we're gonna have to do is thank Rin for the main story quests. So we'll just have to see how much of that I remember come next week. Uh, fate there. Uh, I've got a little bit of a time buffer before I have to hit the showers. So, we'll try one more fate here. It's got eight minutes left on the timer. Tommy alone. That's one less I have to worry about healing. Very short range spit he's got. Got him. So 49,000 experience from clearing the fate. 1,500 for defeating the beast. And it still just made a, a sliver of experience. So we're going to find some other ways to get experience for my sage. I know it's you know, running dungeons is the most e 
one of the better ways. But I want to get some more... I think I've got some decent practice with the Sage. But I don't want to be queuing up for dungeons for main story quest and... <coughs> sage leveling at the same time. So I was thinking I could do it with Fates. Hi, Ember. Again. Okay. But, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here as soon as I land. After flying the little piggy. Flying piggy. Um, I'm gonna say hit that like button if you liked what you saw today. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the, the, the little bell to uh, get notified when I go live or post other videos. Uh, and if you've got tips and suggestions and hints and things, uh, feel free to drop comments down below. Mr. the pigu, the flying pigu. Uh, you know, let me know no leveling tips. Let me know you know mechanics I may be missing. Um, I think I have that um, the, the the bit there with Thancred. I think I know where I made mistakes early, so I can avoid making them again and drawing attention to myself until later. So I won't draw as much attention. Uh, so. Yep, I am. I am on Twitch as well. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Eleknor. Um, so if you want to see some of the videos that I'm posting here on this channel live, pop on over there. And you can catch me live. Doing, making the mistakes as they happen. <laughs> so, uh... Poke at the Twitters. Yes, yes, I'm on, on Twitter at El Beltana. Uh... And and I have I'll I'll have other socials set up in bots to to pop up in chat uh, after I clear a couple other things. So thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on the vid, thanks for for the views. Um, and I hope to see you all around again another time. Until then, goodbye. Where's my ending screen?